Hi, I'm Alex Mariu, and I'm the Planning and Design Project Manager at Waterfront Toronto. I'll be presenting on the introduction to the Transit Project Assessment Process, referred to as the TPAP. There were two environmental assessments previously completed that covered the transit improvements in this corridor. In 2010, the East Bayfront Transit EA was completed, which covered improvements from Union Station to Parliament Street. And in 2014, the Lower Donlands Environmental Assessment Master Plan Addendum was completed, which covers improvements from Parliament Street to the Distillery Loop and into Villiers Island. These environmental assessments have a 10 year shelf life, which is currently expired for the East Bayfront Transit EA, and any changes to the design or environment that have taken place since the original documents were published need to be documented. For that reason, a new environmental assessment process is being initiated to cover the entire transit corridor from Union Station to the Distillery Loop. So what is a TPAP? The Transit Project Assessment Process is the environmental assessment process designed specifically to document the environmental impact of proposed transit projects through a public and stakeholder engagement process. The TPAP process puts particular emphasis on matters impacting provincial importance or matters impacting Indigenous treaty rights. So why a TPAP for this project? The TPAP is a streamlined environmental assessment process. Rather than filing addendums to multiple environmental assessments previously completed, this approach would consolidate all changes along the corridor, creating an updated transit project to go through the TPAP process. There will be no impact to the preliminary design and engineering timelines. The TPAP is designed to expedite the EA process for transit projects and have more reliable timelines than the EA addendum process. It also has a more simplified process for future addendums if required through further design. The TPAP approach will also require a similar amount of background technical work as the addendum process would require. Finally, the TPAP focuses on matters of provincial importance that relate to the natural environment or cultural heritage and infringement on existing Indigenous treaty rights. We are currently in what is referred to as the pre-planning phase of the TPAP process. This is where the study team collects background information, completes environmental investigation, identifies the proposed project through design work, and evaluates alternatives for components that have alternatives in preparation for the environmental project report. This pre-planning work will be completed in late spring 2021, which will be presented at the next public consultation and will be followed by the issuing of the notice of commencement and publishing of the draft environmental project report. Once the notice of commencement is issued and report is published, this starts the official 120 day review period where the draft EPR will be reviewed by the public and stakeholders. During this period, there will be another public consultation. The 120 day review period will end with a notice of completion and final EPR will be published, which will reflect the outcomes of the review process and any changes that were made as a result. There will then be a 30 day review objection period followed by a 35 day review by the provincial minister. If you are a resident along the corridor, you will receive the notice of commencement in the mail. The environmental project report describes the proposed project, including impacts and proposed mitigations, and documents the stakeholder and public engagement process. At minimum, it will include the following sections. A definition of the proposed projects, including evaluation of alternatives, a transportation analysis, this includes updated forecast of multimodal transportation demand in the study area, a review of cultural her heritage impacts, assessment of noise and vibration impacts and mitigations, assessment of air quality impacts and mitigations, an analysis of impacts to the socioeconomic environment, an analysis of impacts to the natural environment, and the, the development of an implementation plan, including construction schedule. As indicated in the previous TPAP process slide, there will be several touch points with the public throughout this TPAP process. In the late spring, we will be coming back with a draft EPR, which summarizes all of the pre-planning work currently underway. We will then come back again towards the end of the summer to present the final version of the draft environmental project report. 
as part of the engagement for the TPAP process, in addition to the public meetings listed in the previous slides, meetings will be held with the Project Stakeholder Advisory Committee, impacted landowners, regulatory agencies, and Indigenous communities. This includes the introduction to the TPAP process presentation. Please be sure to attend our virtual community consultation meeting on February 17th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m and to provide your feedback through our online questionnaire, which opens on February 17th. 